Peace family, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the reading. In today's reading, I'm bringing you a message in regards to your dream world. What type of dreams have you been having and what messages are hidden in those dreams for you? Well, really, what messages are hidden in those dreams? <laughs> now, before I get into this, I do have an, two announcements that I want to make. Well, not announcements, but one is an announcement and one is just me speaking with you guys. So the first announcement is that I will be uploading two early access videos to Patreon in regards to Moon Magic. It's videos that I had on YouTube but were taken down. So I'm going to upload them to Patreon within this week, most likely today at the same time that I upload this reading on YouTube. And of course, if you want to join me on Patreon for extended content or to donate to this channel, you could find a link to that in the description below. And then another thing is that I will be making those same videos live on YouTube within the next week or two, okay? So they will be up on Patreon as exclusive content, um, early access to those content. And then on YouTube, I'll be adding those videos later on. Now, another announcement that I want to make with you guys, another thing I want to tell you guys really was that you guys probably noticed that I use a lot of the same tarot cards in the readings that I do. And prior to that, I had so many different tarot cards, tarot decks. I had about 20 tarot decks. Now I only have about seven. And the reason for that, as well as my crystals, I had way more crystals. The reason for that is that you guys, some of you know that I moved back to the Caribbean. I stayed in Texas for a very long time. You know, I was studying at school and I moved back to the Caribbean and I left a lot of my tarot decks with a friend so that he could send down those decks for me along with my crystals and some other stuff. But you guys know what happened in Texas about a couple months ago, possibly in February with the snowstorm. The friend that I left my stuff with, his house got completely damaged and subsequently my tarot cards got completely tar damaged as well. So as a result of that, I only have about seven tarot decks and about seven crystals. And those were the tarot decks and crystals that I decided to take with me because I, you know, I wanted to still have some decks with me. And those were the decks that, you know, spoke to me the most. So those are the ones that I took. So that's the reason why I have way less more decks now than I used to. But it's all good. The messages are still, you know, crystal clear. So I was just burning some of this incense here. This is myrrh. Just clear up the space, you know. Get the ancestors into the space. And I'm gonna just ring this singing bowl here for a breathing exercise with you guys before we get into this reading, okay? So let's just do a quick breathing exercise. I'm gonna ask you guys to take one deep breath in and breathe, breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth, okay? So breathe in through your nose, take a deep breath in. Breathe out through your mouth. One more, take another deep breath in. Out through the mouth. Perfect. Now, there may be some background noises. These are just people in the community. All right. So we have free pals here. Remember, this is a message on what are your dreams telling you? What's the hidden message in your dreams? We have the pirate pile. We have the Amethyst pile and we have the red jasper pile. All timestamps in the description box. Do enjoy your reading. Bye. I'm going to go on to pile one. Hello, my beautiful people who chose pile one. So these are the cards I have for you. There's still two more and we'll get into them. So what your dreams are telling you, you have the world in reverse. You have sisterhood of the rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic teacher. 
and you have inner temple devotion tuning into the portal of your heart so for the people who are you know who chose this pile i see here that your dreams are revealing secrets to your inner self for you your inner heart your inner space for healing i see here that um you may be seeing certain animals in your dreams and I hope that you take, you know, note of the animals that you see in your dreams and you Google these, you know, meanings of these animals. So always, you know, Google the meaning of the certain animals or certain things that you're seeing in your dreams for this pile or for any pile really. Um, another thing that I'm seeing that your dreams are revealing to you is your state of your consciousness right now. It's so it's showing me here that you have a lot of, um, you know, pent up, pent up energy within your heart space, and within your conscious being. It's like you have a lot of. Um, energy to give and, and energy to move about with the things that you are doing, energy to, to, to grow. You have space in your life to grow and your dreams are revealing to you, you know, aspects of yourself that possibly needs, you know, some fine tuning to allow yourself to grow some more especially because we have devotion here twice it's like your dreams are telling you where to place your energy right now what to be devoted to right now what to be committed to right now because some of you may be committed to you know worldly things things outside of yourself when really and truly you should be connected with yourself things within yourself you should be trying to level up your um sense of your sense of spirituality and also your sense of you know your heart space increasing your your energy within your heart space meaning doing some heart chakra healing because i see there it says tune into the portal of your heart your inner temple right tuning into your inner messages your innermost self into the things that really give you purpose in this lifetime, give you purpose in this world, give you a sense of completion in this world, um, give you a sense of protection in this world, things that actually make you happy at this time. So these are the things that you should be focusing your energy on right now, not you know things that are outside of yourself, things that you cannot control. And I see here that your dreams are possibly showing you situations um, that you've been through in your life or re playing certain things you know you know how a dream takes takes us to a dramatic space sometimes replaying things that happened in our lives but in a different way with different people and, and you know just mixing up our storylines here because our consciousness is so so full of different storylines that when you tune into your dream world there are so many things that could be you know that could be placed into one dream because of our vast consciousness so it's like you're having various different epiphanies in your dreams about various different situations in your life that affected you and you probably wake up the next day or wake up from your sleep and you're like why did i dream about this person again why am i thinking about this person again it's because there is a need for your for you to heal that aspect of yourself that was affected by that person or affected by that thing and it deals with your heart space really and truly it's connected to your heart space because the more that you hold on to these things is the more that it limits your potential in sharing your beautiful energy because you know there's trust issues that you may have there is my apologies y'all there's some people in the community i'm um, selling fish <laughs> so you guys are here in the conch shell in the background and you know what's interesting conch shells are um related to the ocean yemeha and related to the ancestors so hey this could also be your ancestors in your dreams as well or maybe you dream about oceans you dream about the river you dream about water a lot so you know pay attention to those things there may be you know your ancestors or certain deities certain energies trying to reach out to you telling you like hey we're listening we're hearing you and we are assisting you with your journey because i see some of you here are mystics and teachers some of you are 
females or very in tune with your feminine energy and um i'm getting sagittarius vibes as well and it's like your ancestors are showing you in your dreams how you could be a better mystic how you could be a better teacher and that's by focusing on yourself and tuning into your heart tuning into your deep soul your deep consciousness going very deep into the pillars of yourself like what what is your pillars what 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 is your growth you know it's like what when I say what is your pillars and what is your growth, I mean what are the things that make you grow? What are the things that make you stand up? What are the things that contribute to your level of consciousness? And it's like you have to go even deeper than that. So let's say you are a reader yourself and something that contributes to your consciousness is meditation. Then take it deeper Take it deeper than meditation, you know, possibly astral project projection, getting into that. But, you know, with proper guidance, of course, don't just get into something with inadequate guidance, okay? So, yeah, it's you expanding your mindsets and expanding where you place your energy into, expanding your potentials of growth and going deep within yourself to heal, um... And break, you know, certain bonds, certain ties that you have with outside energies. So let's look at the other two cards you have here. You have risk and you have release the old and rest. So, of course, we were speaking again about, you know, releasing old patterns, old people. Now, another thing that I'm seeing here that's being revealed to you is the beginning of a new journey for you. It's like with you letting go of the past hurt, letting go of the past people, letting go of past memories and past ways of being is a risk for you because you were so accustomed to being one way, so accustomed to being this one thing that you 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 can't imagine being something else. You can't imagine being, you know, healed. You can't imagine having an open heart space. You can't imagine being a proper mystic. You can't imagine being a teacher because these things were never really of you. Some of you, okay? Um, or another set of you maybe you want to take yourself to the next level and you're afraid of what it is that is coming you're afraid of the next level you're afraid of what sacrifices you have to make to go to the next level but with this release the old and rest it's like hey take it easy take it easy man take it easy <laughs> You gotta release those things. You gotta release the pain. You gotta release the fear of taking risks. You have to be open and be free. Do you see how her heart space is just, you know, going up to the sky? And we see a lot of, you know, heart space energy here. I'm gonna show you guys something else. A lot of energy within the heart space here. It's like, just let yourself open up to God. Let yourself open up to the universe and let the universe come into your heart and just clear it out. Okay. And don't be afraid of taking a risk again. Don't be afraid of loving again. Don't be afraid of sharing yourself to the world again. Don't be afraid of being who you truly are again. Um, because it's like the world may have allowed you to be closed off, may have allowed you to get really cold, may have allowed you to just set boundaries where you don't let anybody in. And it's okay to be very protective of yourself, but then it's okay to take a risk and let's, you know, let, let love in, let the universe in at least, let God in, let God work in your life for you, but you have to really tune into your heart, okay? So, and then another thing, um, again, with animals, you may be seeing a lot of birds in your dreams, so pay attention. You may be even seeing spirit animals in your dreams. There are times when I see spirit animals in my dreams. It's like a version of an animal, but it's something you've never seen before, and it's something you only see in your dreams. And it's funny because you have released the old and the rest here, autumn. We have autumn season coming next, so the seasons are changing for you. There's beautiful things coming for you, and you may uh, may have been trying to manifest something since april and it's gonna come through for you in autumn okay yeah in the next couple months it's gonna come through for you another thing here with um resting 
your spirit team really wants you to tune into your dreams and pay attention to what your dreams are telling you. Write down your dreams with this rest here. It's like, don't be afraid to sleep. And um, what I will tell you that you could do to induce some good dreams to get messages from you for you, drink a lot of water before you go to sleep. Meditate with some um, chakra chakra tuning rhythms before you go to sleep or any type of rhythms that you know take you to another dimension i love listening to and i often share you know certain vibrations i listen to on my community tab but i love listening to the vibrations from healing vibrations oh my god oh my god <laughs> their stuff is just so beautiful and I listen to it oftentimes before I go to bed and that's why I, I get you know a lot of messages from my dreams so your spirit team really wants you to tune into that deeper consciousness of yourself go deep into your meditations go deep into your dreams and don't be afraid to um you know lucid dream don't be afraid to get into your dreams really and truly so take don't be afraid to rest and get those dreams popping all right so that's what i have for you guys i'm gonna move on to pile two hello my beautiful people who chose pile two so this pile has four cards now each pile there are different amounts of cards you know i was just allowing spirit to guide what type of cards that needs to come out so for you you have denial you have Father Sky, Trust in the Unknown. You have Four of Wands in Reverse. And you have Unbound, Releasing Soul Patterns, Contracts, Past Lives. Okay, so for my people who chose Pile 2, what your dreams are telling you. Your dreams are telling you how to get back to a sense of stability here. I'm seeing that you may be dreaming a lot about relationships and partnerships and feeling like these things are falling apart for you. I see here that your sense of where you place your energy into, like your spirit really, um, your spirit is being kind of... <clears throat> kind of slowed down in a sense right now that's how you feel in your waking life in your waking life you feel like you're not as connected to your spirit as you should be possibly and your dreams are trying to show you or trying to assist you with releasing those emotions that you feel so with father sky trust in the unknown it's like your your dreams are trying to bring messages of for you of how to trust in god how to really release everything and trust in God. And it's crazy because our dreams are so weird. Sometimes it could be a dream of just water. And that is telling you how to trust in God. Because God is related to our consciousness. Water is related to consciousness. You see what I'm saying? And you have Father Sky here. So you maybe even be dreaming of the sky. Maybe you're see, you're in a dream and all you seeing all you are seeing is the sky and birds flying in the sky. So pay attention to the animals that you're seeing in your dreams. You may be seeing a lot of birds. These are your spirit team animals coming to you. Your spirit animals coming to you in your dreams. Um, with this denial though here, I feel like some of you, possibly in the month of May, you were kind of detached from certain things um, in your life. Possibly you didn't feel like you received the blessings that you wanted to receive in in May. Um, possibly, you know, certain things didn't come through for you in May. Things that you wanted to come through for you. And all of these things are leaving you unstable. However, Spirit is telling you to still trust in what you do not know. So it's like you knew that you wanted to accomplish this in May or whichever month prior to May and it didn't come through. So now it's time for you to trust in the things that you 
do not know that you want to accomplish. You know what I mean? It's like things are going to come through for you that you didn't even know you wanted. Things are going to come through for you that when you get them, you realize the significance of having them. And the only way you could have them is by losing something that you thought was stable in your life. Something that you thought was going to stay within your life. Now, another thing that may your dreams may also be telling you is to have faith in your relationships that they can grow and that they can evolve and that they can heal sometimes we go through things in relationships and they are horrible we don't know if we're gonna come through from this we don't know if we are gonna be helped out of this but it's like spirit is literally lifting you up right now and it's asking you spirit is asking you for you to trust in the fact that things fall apart but things can come back together as well right now another thing that i'm feeling here for you with this unbound you're being guided to release past 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 energy not even energy like within this current life of yours but if you believe in past lives and soul patterns and soul contracts you're being asked to release those things in your dreams and possibly too when you dream about a certain thing that happened in your life, that happened way back when in your life, it's a reminder of, um, it's a reminder that you have released th those things, especially if it's something that you already moved on from, but you dream about it again. It's a reminder that you have released those things and it's time for you to tell yourself a different story. You're no longer those things that you have already released, right? So again with this unbound, it's like your soul is really um your soul is really coming out from a space of deep hatred possibly as well hatred for just how life has been turning out for you it's like you probably have been feeling that you are you are being denied of the pleasure that you deserve from this life you are being denied of the things that you are seeking in this life and it's like your soul now is coming out of that space of being, woe is me. The victim is me. Woe is me. I'm the victim here. It's, it's, it's me. I'm sad here. These things are not going right for me. Your soul is coming out from that space and coming into a space of freedom. Like, okay, I'm no longer the victim here. I am the victor. I survived. I'm no longer being denied the things that I want. Now, another thing that your dream is trying to show to you, your dreams, maybe you're denying a certain type of relationship in your life or a certain type of aspect in your life, a certain type of energy in your life. Um, denying something that is actually going to bring you stability. So, for an example, it's like possibly... You know in your hearts of hearts that you're supposed to be doing a certain exercise every day to get to a certain body goal that you want to. But it's like you keep denying that you got to do that. You keep denying it. You keep denying it like, nah, I ain't really got to do this. I ain't really got to do that. I could do that instead. I could do that. I could do everything else but the one thing that I really need to do. So spirit is telling you like, hey, you gotta, you gotta stop, you know, playing around with yourself here. If you want to um, really achieve your goals, you have to take yourself seriously and you have to trust in your ability to achieve your goals and trust in your ability to do a new thing, to not be afraid to do a new thing so that you could get that energy that you need stop you know denying what you what it is that you need to do to get to where it is that you need to go um stop allowing fear to stop you in your paths so yeah that's really it again um there's some you know meditation that you need to do in terms of releasing old patterns that is that is rooted in your soul it's like not even rooted in your spirit but rooted in your soul here and i do see a lot of celebration for you i do see a lot of internal growth for you internal stability for you really and truly but it all begins with you you know taking that risk and trusting in the unknown trusting in god trusting that god is really working in your life trusting your spirit team and also allowing yourself to no longer be bounded by 
all soul patterns, all soul contracts. Yes, when your soul came on this earth, you possibly had to do, um, you had to believe or say certain things or do certain things for your soul. Like your soul was bounded to a certain contract. Like it had to, I, I don't, I can't really explain. This is crazy. Your soul had a certain contract, basically. You know, your soul came on this earth with a certain thing. Maybe that thing was not trusting people easy. From young, you never trusted people. Now it's the time for you to rewrite that and become a better version of you and to actually put trust in someone. You don't have to trust everybody, but maybe just one person that you could take to the next level with you. All right, so that's just an example. So I'm going to move on to pile three. I hope that this reading helped you, pile two. Peace, my beautiful people who chose pile three. Welcome to your reading. So I'm going to let you guys know the cards that you have here and then we're going to get into the reading. First off, you have the High Priest card, Intend and Create. You have Success. Congratulations, Success. You have the Four of Cups in reverse. You have Mintakan, Longing for Home, Belonging, the Original light workers. And then you have the Hermit card, Retreat and Recharge. So for you guys, with this Four of Cups in Reverse and the Hermit card, you are being called, firstly, that's, we're not even into the dreams yet, just overall, you're being called to spend more time with you. Spend more time focusing on what you want, what you like. Because I see that some of you are very much dissatisfied with how things are currently unfolding for you. Maybe you don't feel that um, things are going to go the way that you want them to go in this life for you right now. It's like you have been so accustomed to living your life in a certain way. It's like that's the only thing that you can focus on. You don't focus on the new things that are coming for you. You only focus on the old things that have, ha that have happened to you and possibly did not work out the way that you want it to work out. Or in another breath, you may be looking at your past successes and you're like, damn, when am I going to be successful like that again? When am I going to achieve great things again? To me, it's like I've just been achieving things that I don't even want to really achieve in this life. You understand? <laughs> so, that's that. Now, with this high priest intent and create here, your dreams are giving you the opportunity to create what it is that you want to create there are various ways that you could manifest and the way that you could manifest things is through your dreams so it's like before you go to bed at night place an intention on your dreams i intend to create in my dreams a, a, a scenario of me actually you know getting my products sold let me give you guys an example there were times I dreamed that I received the money or some of my products sell, sold. And two weeks later, or not even two weeks, like a week later, I would get, you know, orders and such. So, yeah, you could go ahead in your dreams. And sometimes we don't have full control of our dreams. But if some of you are, you know, good with lucid dreaming, because I see that some of you here are light workers. So you guys are truly powerful in terms of what you can create and what you can do. Know that. Know that your mind is, you know, your mind has the ability to create beautiful things. And some of you may need to research more on the power of your mind. Some of you may believe that, you know, my mind is only my mind. I need, you know, I need crystals. I need candles. I need all of these things to manifest things in my life. No, no, you don't. These things are tools. Never place emphasis, never give power to tools. Your true power lies within yourself and your mind, right? So possibly that's another thing for you guys right now. You're no longer being satisfied by the tools you are using. And only one thing can really um, allow you to create what it is that you want to create. And that's your mind. So your spirit guide here wants you to go ahead and tune into your mind. Find the power of your mind and use your mind to create 
you know, your dreams, create the things that you want to create in your life. Intend with your dreams. I intend to sell five products in my dreams. Then you might dream about, you know, encountering people and selling products and doing this. Some of you may dream about being on a stage. Some of you may dream about meeting um celebrities and maybe it's gonna come true for you if that's what you're want if you're wanting and if you are in that energy space don't be dreaming about a celebrity and you live in freaking antarctica and you think that you might be able to meet a celebrity within the next week now you know what i mean like it's like don't um that was just so random what i just said <laughs> But I was trying to let you guys be, to, to understand, to be realistic about your goals. Be realistic about your dreams. So don't feel like, you know, if you're not in the space to accomplish something, then work for you to get into that space and then try to accomplish something. For example, you want to lose 20 pounds, but right now all you're doing is eating a whole bunch of shit or drinking a lot or doing things that you know this is just a random example it doesn't have to be that that's what you're doing um it could be that you're trying to manifest a house however you are not even looking for you know houses you want to manifest you're trying to manifest a new job but you, you only send in your applications and you don't you know follow up on those jobs or you don't it's like you're not doing what it is that you have to do to manifest those things if you're not in the energy of what it is that you want to manifest then it won't come through for you you have to be in that energy all right if you are trying to manifest something because i see that a lot of you are trying to use the power of manifestation um to create things in your life however you need to develop that energy within yourself or um even if it's like you're not you know doing the action possibly just developing the energy within yourself and believing you can develop that energy some some people want to manifest things and they don't even believe that they can manifest those things so why are you even trying then because i'm seeing here that spirit actually wants you to be successful spirit wants you it's saying congratulations success now some of you may just have graduated from school congratulations and success to you yes so your spirit right now in your dreams is showing you how you could take yourself to the next level i see a lot of ancient egyptian energy for you as well horus energy so just know that your ancestors and your ancient ancestors are with you they are back in your manifestations they are back in your energy so my question to you are you tuning into your ancestors are you speaking with your spirit team are you speaking with your spirit guides when you're trying to manifest stuff another thing again you guys are original light workers you guys are possibly not even interested in manifesting or doing things on this earth anymore because you're like what's the point what's the point none of this is real none of this is real so maybe some of you get into that space especially when things don't come through for you like none of this is real I don't even care if this doesn't come through for me when really and truly you did want it that thing. So just be mindful of, you know, your mind and where you place your energy into. I see some of you are very much, you know, just dissatisfied with certain opportunities that are coming to you. It's like you want more. So you're longing for more or you're just, you're just dissatisfied with, you know, earth right now. So you're longing to be in another galaxy. You're longing to be in somewhere else. And you can do those things. You can do those things through your dreams or through you. This is revealing to you really and truly um, just ways in which you can use your mind to create well really and truly your dreams is becoming a space for you for creation things you are dreaming are coming true for you so you need to focus on having that energy of success within your consciousness um and also just retreating and moving away with this hermit card moving away from energies that no longer bring you what it is that you're trying to get into this in in this lifetime taking a lot of like taking a whole sabbatical from social media just a whole cleanse oh my god my apologies 
just a whole cleanse and a whole detox away from um things that no longer serve you right so this is what your dreams are revealing to you so thank you so much again for tuning in bye